video, we're going to derive Apollonius's theorem, which is a theorem to describe the length of a triangle's median. The median is a line drawn from one of the vertexes of a triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side. We're going to say that this has a length of d, and a median bisects that side, so each part is equal to the same length, so that's going to be m for us. We're also going to say that this angle is theta, and this angle here is going to be theta prime. These angles are supplementary, and if you saw my other video, we know that the cosine of theta is equal to the negative cosine of 180 minus theta. So for us, 180 minus theta is equal to theta prime. So we're, gonna, we're just going to keep that in mind. I'm going to write it out one more time just so it's um, a little easier to use later. So this is the one we want to remember. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use the law of cosines to find this side, C. So that's going to be C squared equals M squared plus D squared plus minus 2MD cosine of theta. All right, now we're going to use the law of cosines to find side length A. It's going to be the same sort of thing. A squared equals M squared plus T squared minus 2MD cosine of this time theta prime. Another piece of information we need to know is that B is equal to 2M. So B is equal to 2M, and we can divide both sides, and we get that M is equal to B over 2. We're not going to use that just yet, but we will in a second. Now what we're going to do is take this thing that we just derived up here and replace um, theta prime, cosine of theta prime here. So now we're going to have a squared equals m squared plus d squared plus 2md cosine of theta. Now we take this equation, move it over here, and we're going to add these together. So immediately you'll see that these two things cancel out, and we're going to have a squared plus c squared equals 2m squared plus 2d squared. Now we can plug in m. So we're going to have a squared plus c squared equals 2 times b over 2 squared plus 2d squared. And remember, we're trying to get down to figure out what the length of d is. That's our median. Um, so we're going to actually bring that to get it on one side. We're going to have 2d squared equals a squared plus c squared minus, and we're going to do a couple steps here all at once, 2b squared over 4. Let's cancel this over 2. Okay. Slide it up a little bit. And I'm just going to rewrite this to be b squared over 2. Now we're going to divide the 2 across, divide everything by 2. And we're going to have d squared equals a squared over 2 plus c squared over 2 plus or minus b squared over 4. And so we want to multiply both of these first two elements by 2 over 2 to get a common denominator. d squared equals 2 a squared plus 2c squared minus b squared all over 4. And the last step, we take the square root of each side. And Apollonius's theorem states that d equals the square root of 2a squared plus 2c squared minus b squared over 4. So we just derived the length of d here, but the theorem can be more generalized so that it can work for any side. So for example, if we were finding the median from side A like this, 
then the formula is going to be ma equals the square root of 2b squared plus 2c squared minus a squared over 4. mb, which is actually the one we found, is going to be square root of 2a squared plus 2c squared minus b squared over 4. So that checks out here. And then mc, if we're deriving the median of this side, is going to be equal to square root of 2a squared plus 2b squared minus c squared over 4. So that's those are the general formulas you can use. Um, so if you're looking for the median from a certain angle, then the side length is going to fit into this a squared term.